What's up, guys? This is an update on that shop press I told you I was going to start on for too long. Uh, yep. So I went a different way with it. I got a good deal in some big C channel. I was initially just going to go with a half inch plate up here at the top for the press plate to push up against. But when I got a deal on that, I figured I'd double it up. And it left myself a little shelf up here to put, you know, my tape, pencils, whatever, press dies, sit them across there, uh, you know, trolls, whatever, it don't matter. Uh, got all my holes drilled. Everything is 100% square, dead on center in the bubble. Um, the press table is going to be, is two doubled up half inch plates by seven inches deep. Uh, I liked all the bolts in it. I thought about welding it, but I was like, man, I like the bolts. Gives it kind of a steampunk look, you know, just something a little different. And uh, those bolts are one inch studs, B7 rating, which is like crazy. It's right at grade eight rating. So I really don't think that 50 ton press will, or that 50 ton cylinder will do anything to those bolts. Uh, here is the other press plate for the back um, for the ram press plate that goes on the top. I got that half inch off cut. Uh, I'm going to cut that's 12 inches wide. I'm going to cut it 8 by 12 for those. That's a 33 inch piece and that'll be 2 inches thick. So I imagine that that'll be plenty, plenty thick for that 50 ton pressed ram cylinder, whatever to push up against. But, uh, yeah, sorry I ain't got more done, but I work 12-hour days and only got time on the weekend, so uh, it is what it is. And moving around big, heavy pieces of steel with just a chain hoist and bad back is like, eh. So, but uh, these are going to be the legs, so it'll be six inches taller. That's the off cut, so the I-beam is uh, six foot tall as it sits right now, so it'll be six six. So I figured at 6'6", six, six, that'll put the ram, you know, about chest height, uh, you know, maybe a little bit taller where you can, you know, it's pretty close to your vision or whatever, pretty close to eye level. Not exactly eye level, but uh, pretty close. I left three feet in between. I made it four feet wide so I could put me a little press break in there. And uh, I have ordered me the air over hydraulic foot control for that. And uh, I was going round and round about how to get that thing mounted up here. And I found this piece of the junkyard the other day. I think I'm going to cut it in half, uh, long ways. Cut it in half, long ways, and then cut it again. And uh, have it where the cylinder holds itself up there on the press plate by the table. And then you just, it clamps around the cylinder body to hold it tight with some uh, big bolts or whatever, hold it into place, weld it to the uh, press table. So I think that's how I'm going to do it, unless I think of something else, but I don't know that I will. Uh, so, yeah. But shout out to Vivor. Their mag drill is great for what I've used it for so far. It's not my job working with steel. I've never had a name brand to compare it against, but it has not wavered in doing anything. Uh, it has drilled through everything that I've drilled through. And for a couple hundred bucks versus, you know, 1500 bucks for Milwaukee or 1500 bucks for a huge in or a slugger or something like that, you know, big savings, big savings. And then AccuSize, uh, AccuSize Industrials off of Amazon. Got the whole kit for a hundred bucks on sale and I had one of them break. I had to order a new one. Um, I don't know if that was my fault or what, but I'm new to using mag drills. Never used one before. But anyway, that's the update on the shop press. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be overkill. I think it's going to be way tougher than that 50 ton press is. I don't know. I'm not an expert, but I see what they sell is 50 ton presses online and uh know the weight that they say the shipping weight on those things is and this is significantly more beefy but uh yeah we'll see what happens but anyway that's the update on the shop press um i got the little winch handle to crank the table up and down because that table is going to weigh like 150 pounds and i don't feel like picking it up every time and you know anyway that's the update when i get more done i'll post more thanks